Ya no vas a estar bueno. Ya no vas a estar bueno. No, ese no es usted. Ese no es usted. Do you need to go to the bathroom, pau pau? ¿Quieres un pau pau? No. ¿Quieres un pau pau? you're all doing well and um so our last 
trip that we went to uh, Mexicali um, in San Diego, Liam was sick. He was doing fine at the party, and I think maybe because he was dancing, I don't know, some somewhere around there, he got sick. Point being, he had a fever, um, and we um, thank God that one of Vivi's aunts had some drops with her, and. I was praying to God that they were going to work. I didn't know what they really were, but I was just hoping that it was going to break his fever and, and it worked. It worked. Um, but it was just, it was short, short lived because, um, as soon as it would kind of break and I'm like, okay, he's doing good. It was coming right back. Um, I was nervous as hell. It had me so nervous. And stressed out because where we were in Mexicali when he was getting sick started getting sick and then we were um, I didn't like I didn't know where we were gonna go if he you know if he was spiking a fever more than he than it was or if, you know what if he got worse or anything you know so I was really stressed uh, it's just um so finally when we came to or we got into back into San Diego um, I looked up an ER, an ER, a Ki I mean a Kaiser ER, because I was like, just in case if anything happens, I know where to go. Thank God it was like literally five minutes away from where we were staying at the hotel. So I, I felt more at ease. Um, but it is so hard when your kid gets sick and you're in another country or another area where you're not at home in your comfort, comfort zone. One, because I don't know these doctors. And not all doctors are, you know, they're not all the same. They're not, they're not all as caring and cautious or whatever. So I was scared. Um, and when we came back, you know, his fever was a little bit better, but he was so clingy, just so clingy. And, um, it made it hard to do anything. Cause all he wanted to do was just like literally lay in my lap and just be in my arms and, and, um, I hate it. it. It just it hurt me to my core when he gets sick. Like, of course, any mother you never wants to see your kid sick. Um, but it was definitely hard. And I do have to say thank you to my suegros, my in-laws, because they're a great help. I mean, when they see that I'm flustered or, you know, Vivi's flustered and we're tired, like, they're like, here, let me take them. So I'm very blessed to have them um, on that trip. Uh, then on that Friday, I had a call in because he... Just, he spiked another fever, scared the crap out of me. And um, I was like, nope, I'm not gonna take him. He's gonna stay home with me and oh well, I just have to call in. Started getting a little bit better, I, so I thought. A rash, a horrible rash develops. And you know, a part of me working in the medical field okay when I see it on a daily I'm like you know what don't worry I tell the parents it's gonna be okay you know your child's it's just a fever and sometimes they get a rash when it breaks the fever you know whatever like I know I see it but yet the mom in me you already know I I get so freaked out and I just I don't know I I just get scared and um so of course I call the doctor and we go in and doctor tells me it's just a viral, you know, it's a viral rash. And I'm like, I know. And they're like, you, you've seen this before, right? I was like, yeah, I have, I know it's, it's just, you know, I just, I just need you to tell me it's, he's going to be okay. That's all I want to hear. You know? So I got scared and I know sometimes I try to keep cool. Cause I know BB's like, you're so dramatic. You know, why are you like, you know, it's not that serious and stuff, but I don't know. I don't know if she understands it, but I do. I do get scared. And um, I'm just glad that he, he got better. It took him about a week. He had a lingering cough. Um, I'm just, I'm glad that, that overall he was okay, but it did, it did make it very difficult um, not being at home and um, with him sick like that. So I'm hoping on our next trip, you know, it goes a lot better because we definitely didn't get to enjoy um, our trip as much so for the next trip I hope his little ass doesn't get sick so maybe you guys can give us some tips on what you guys do um, how do you guys prepare you know when you guys take your kids on a trip in case if they're sick or you know are, are there any tips tricks I don't know that maybe 
you know, this newbie can, can take because I feel like I still have so much to learn and we've got great viewers and stuff. So please don't forget to comment down below. Know what we could do for our next trip. Um, it is important and um, I'll definitely take that with me because this last trip was scary. So, well, I love you guys. Thank you very much for always watching us, supporting us, and we couldn't do this without you guys.